What is going on everyone? Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today we're going to be taking a look at how you can blur out the background in Photoshop. So sort of to mimic that lens blur if you would have shot it with an expensive lens at f1.4 or 1.8. If you guys are new to the channel, I make photography slash videography tutorials as well as vlogs and reviews and all of that stuff. If you'd like to check out my content, hit that subscribe button down below. A like would be appreciated as well. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. Alright, so now that we've opened up Photoshop, I have this picture um, of a model and the background is a bit blurry, but it's not as blurry as I'd like it to be. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate the person from the background and then we're gonna blur the background. You might think that it's very complicated and Photoshop, it's very, very simple and easy to do. Alright, so first off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna qu click on the quick selection tool and then you're gonna click around your model to kind of separate it from the background. This works very well, if, especially if you have a high contrast image. And there we go, this seems about right. Now if you've, um, say like right here, um, you've selected some stuff in the background and you don't want it, so you hold Alt and then you click over it to remove your um, excess masking. Okay, so now typically what people do is they duplicate the layer, they make masks and all that. There's a much, much faster way to do this. So what you want to do is you want to right click, click select inverse. And then what you want to do is you want to go filter, blur, Gaussian blur or lens blur. And we can adjust the radius to our liking. You can go with 100. And I'm just going to go, I'm actually going to go with 100, yeah, just for the sake of this tutorial. Alright, so as you can see, we've kind of missed something here. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold out, and then I'm just gonna paint it away. And now we're gonna click Control D to deselect. This is a much simpler and easier and quicker way to blur out your background in Photoshop. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below, and hit me up in the comments for any new tutorials that you'd like me to do. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one.